Hello. In this video, I'm going to show you how to compare two values and then use that as conditions in the state machine. Here I have a score bar with two values. And the idea is that whichever value is highest, the size of that number gets bigger and the star changes to be next to only that number. So to start, I'm going to create some simple animations. The first one I'll name score one. And here inside the timeline, I'm going to set a keyframe for the score one text layer and make the font size 60. And for score two, I'm going to set a keyframe to make the font size 30. Now create another timeline for score two. And here I'm going to do the exact opposite. For score one, the size is 30. And for score two, the size is 60. Now that we have these two animations, Let's add them to the state machine. Let's add transitions from the any state. To trigger these animations, we need a condition. And for that, we'll use data binding. So start by creating a view model and call it score bar. And because we have two scores, we need to create two number properties within our view model. And because these two values are going to control both scores, we need to bind the text to these values. And for that, it's very simple. Just select the text run of score one and bind it to the score one number property. Then we need to create a converter that converts that number to a string. I'm going to check these boxes that round the decimals and remove trailing zeros. And now I'll apply my converter to the data bind. Now let's do the same for score two. Bind the text run of score2 to its corresponding number property and apply the converter. Now that that's done, let's add the view model to our artboard. And now when we press play, the score values are being updated using each number property. Okay, let's add the conditions for our transitions. For score1, we simply select the score one property and we say, if this property is greater than score two, then we play the score one timeline. For the transition to score two, we simply select the score two property and we say, if this property is greater than score one, play the score two timeline. Now, when we press play and change the property values, the font size changes depending on which score is higher. To make the transitions more interesting, we can add a duration and elastic interpolation. Now each time we transition, the score changes with a small bounce animation. For the star, we can do something very simple. Create a new animation called star1 and set keyframes so that the star is next to score1. Then create another animation and set the star to be next to score2. Now in the state machine, I'm going to add these two new animations to a new state machine layer and use the same exact conditions for the transitions. So now when we press play in the state machine, each score changes size depending on its value and the star only appears next to the highest value. 